Good evening and welcome to Senior Services 20th Annual Evening for Alzheimer's Care. I'm Lainey Pope and I'm honored to serve as your MC for this special event. This year's virtual gala is the first of its kind and wraps up a month long fundraising effort in support of Senior Services award winning Elizabeth and Tab Williams Adult Daycare Center. A magical place which provides daycare and day health services to seniors living with memory loss, as well as support to their families. We hope you have taken some time to bid on auction items this past week and to participate in the online Alzheimer's Care 2020 challenge with your friends. Thank you for being with us as we celebrate the wonderful work done at the Williams Center and spotlight how your contributions help senior services to continue its mission. Many of you already know that Alzheimer's is a cause that is very personal for me. I lost my mom to the disease when she was just 66 years old. Because she was so young in her 50s when she developed it, we didn't realize what was going on. And when she was finally diagnosed in her early 60s, I was giving birth to my second child. And that meant that I would soon be caring for two young children as well as my mom. Alzheimer's is a dreadful disease as you watch the one you love fade away. It's stressful for those who have it and for those who love and take care of them. Attentive care for your loved one is so important. And as I learned, you must take care of yourself too. And that is very difficult as there are so many demands of your time and attention. The Elizabeth and Tab Williams Adult Daycare Center is indeed a wonderful place with loving care. And that is why we are all here tonight. This year's Evening for Alzheimer's Care event chairs, Shanna and Adam Hurt, have been involved with Senior Services for a number of years as dedicated volunteers and donors. Shanna now serves as treasurer of the Senior Services Board, and she and Adam, as event chairs, have been instrumental in bringing this special evening together. They have joined us this evening to help kick off the online gala. Please welcome Shanna and Adam. Where is everybody? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Yay! I was afraid you might miss it. We're so glad you're here. Even though you're kind of, sort of, not here. True. Although COVID has caused this year's Evening for Alzheimer's Care to look a little bit different, the needs of the Elizabeth and Tab Williams Adult Day Center remain the same. Finally, something that hasn't changed. You're right. Things may look different, but the show must go on. I'm Adam Hurt. And I'm Shanna Hurt. And we're excited to welcome you to the 20th annual Evening for Alzheimer's Care. And the first annual virtual Evening for Alzheimer's Care. We're thrilled to be co-chairing this year's event. So many talented and gifted people have come together to arrange this unique event. The Evening for Alzheimer's Care is near and dear to us as we've had a number of family members who've traveled this journey of this terrible disease. Alzheimer's and other dementias have undoubtedly affected each of you in some way also. The Elizabeth and Tab Williams Adult Day Center provides a much needed service for both the individual and the caregiver. Yes, not only does the Williams Center provide a fun, engaging, and safe environment, but also services like spa-like bath care, personal grooming, dentistry, and podiatry care. Senior Services is very proud of the fact that no one in need of services from the center has ever been turned away due to an inability to pay, due in large part to the funds raised through this event. In fact, after tonight, this event will have raised more than $3 million since its inception. Tonight's gala is going to be an evening of inspiring stories from center participants, families, volunteers, and staff. Whether you've taken advantage of ordering a meal through Five Loaves Catering or you're fixing something at your own home, we want to welcome you and now invite you to kick back and relax and enjoy the next 30 or so minutes of heartwarming and inspiring video segments. Thanks again for joining us tonight. Thank you, Shanna and Adam, for the time and energy you've given to making this such a special evening and for your continued support of Senior Services.
As I mentioned, this is the 20th year of this wonderful event, and we want to take a few moments to celebrate that milestone and reflect on how it has grown over time. The 2020 honorary chairs, Sue Henderson, Susan Mann, and Marion Douglas, longtime volunteers and supporters of senior services, may know more about the history and importance of this event than anyone. After all, they each played a role in bringing the very first evening for Alzheimer's care to life 20 years ago. We are thrilled to have them join us this evening to reflect on how this event has changed lives for the past 19 years. Hey everybody, I'm Marion Douglas and I'm here with Susan Mann and Sue Henderson and we are going to talk a little bit about the history the beginnings of the evening for Alzheimer's care. We all three, and I can speak for them, uh, are devoted to this event and to the people it serves. From the very beginning in 2001, the proceeds from the evening for Alzheimer's event went to the day center, to the Williams Adult Day Center for scholarships for those who could not um, afford to be there without help. And since then, we have never turned a client down for the inability to pay. So we're, we're awfully proud of that. And, um, and we've all, you know, we've all worked hard. And I think about why is this event different from other events in Winston-Salem, of which there are many wonderful events. And I think, maybe the reason was in the very beginning it was a grassroots event the price tag was low to get in the everything was top notch the food the drink the auctions and i think the enthusiasm for this event has really remained high all through the years and maybe that's because um you know people fell in love with it and um and they never want to let go so Anyway, thank goodness uh, these other two ladies haven't let go, and I, I haven't let go. I, you know, they'll have to push me out. But anyway, I um, am so glad to be here, and we all are, to talk uh, today about this event. Quickly, um, it started in 2001. Uh, Senior Services was headquartered in Tobacco Square, and um, the uh, day center opened in 2000. And so um, in October of 2001, we uh, had an event and it was at the day center in this, in the large room. And it was so much fun. Uh, that time, uh, Richard Gottlieb led the charge and he uh, said that we could only close the day center an hour and a half early. And, you know, usually you have two or three days to get ready for this kind of thing, but nope hour and a half we did not want our clients to be inconvenienced and so that's what we did and um i got a lot of boys in there to move a lot of furniture and we had a grand time five loaves catering catered the first event and has every year since which is so wonderful they have been amazingly uh loyal to, to the evening for alzheimer's care so um we had a big food table in the middle we had the auction around the periphery of the room and it uh it wasn't like a dinner it was more like uh hors d'oeuvres pickup food and uh we had <laughs> we had a band which was a little loud <laughs> to tell you the truth but anyway but kevin doubt it came a little bit later and he's been there with us ever since too so anyway that's when it started and um it's only gotten better every single year so um, that's it for me, and I'll just list, can't wait to listen to these other two ladies. Well, I'll tag team along with Mary, and I, I agree. I think one reason it's been so incredibly successful is that it has, was a grassroots operation, and everybody loved that about that event. It, there wasn't a whole lot of extra hoopla. You knew that the money being spent was the money that needed to be spent. There were no extra expenses. In fact, um, I think one of the years I cheered it, I went out and picked hydrangeas from my yard and dried them so that we didn't have to have a flower expense. 
Um, but that's what, what everybody loves about this event is that it really does, all the money does go towards the cause. The other thing that I think needs to be said is um, the staff that we worked with as chairs, the staff at Senior Services, made our job easy. They were incredible. They took care of every detail. They really are some unsung heroes in the success of this event and um, made it fun for us to want to wanna continue year after year to chair it and to be a part of it. So I'll just add to what you have all said. Um, I chaired it, I think, five years, and then one year, I think we all three chaired it. Don't remember all of that because we've all been involved for 20 years, and it's been 20 glorious years. And Marion, I remember that first night just how festive it was. And it was my first taste of that marvelous food from Five Loaves Catering. <laughs> it really wowed everybody that we could pull off this event that was so affordable and so accessible to everybody for such a great cause. I I'll never forget the joy and the spirit in that first event. I mean, it was just, it was just wow. And it just has continued. And and each and every time I continue to be so passionate when I go, and, and, and much of it has to do with the loyalty on so many fronts, all the stakeholders, the staff, and what they do, as Susan just mentioned, is just next to incredible. They just make our job so easy. But it's seeing the same faces year in and year out, the loyalty of the people who come, and attend, you just don't even worry about it. And then the second thing, I picked it up after, I guess, in year six after marrying, and, and you know, it seems daunting at first that you're going to chair something, and then you get into it and you realize that everybody says yes. All the volunteers that started with Marion the first year, they were still working just as hard in year six, and they're still working to this day, which is really so incredible the loyalty that exists from the volunteers the people who attend and then just the dedication from the staff to make it the best celebration of the year um, to serve these amazing people that we support and i would just add that outside of the evening for alzheimer's um, i really value the increased exposure that this event gave or gives and continues to give to the people who come to the greater senior services. You know, people all of a sudden, they come to this event for one reason, but then they get touched by this, and then they learn so much more about the holistic care that senior services provides to all of our greater community. It's just, it's amazing. I don't know where we would be without it. It's um. It's, it's a joy to be a part of it, and it's just great fun. So I'll turn it back to our fearless leader, Marion, who really got us all, all involved. <laughs> well, and, and we, don't, we can't leave out the part about the volunteers, you know, and the staff. We did. We had so much fun. It was real, it's really a fun time. And this year, it certainly is different. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just real positive and 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 excited and I, I think our friends are out there uh, wherever they are I know they're there and I think that we will uh, do what we need to do and and the, we're gonna have a wonderful auction and tonight and uh, anyway it's it's gonna be a, a the maybe even the best one yet what? It's incredible that nearly $3 million has been raised through the evening for Alzheimer's care to support people living with memory loss and their families who benefit from services at the Williams Center. Even during COVID-19, when the center has had to temporarily suspend its in-person day program, staff had rallied to find a way to continue the mission and serve the people who are counting on them most. Let's hear from them about what makes the Williams Center special and how they've adapted to meet needs during the pandemic. The award-winning Elizabeth and Tab Williams Adult Day Center provides a safe, fun, and structured day program. It brings meaning and friendship to each participant in a nurturing environment. 
the Williams Center offers caregivers an opportunity to bring their loved ones to a safe, caring, and active environment during the week, giving them time to go to work, go grocery shopping, run errands, or just get some sleep. I just love the participants. I don't know more to say, but I really love coming here. And it's it's a relief for the families. They know they, you know, they can bring their family members here. You know, they know they're well taken care of. And it's just it's just a joy. It's such a joy for me. You know, I had promised her I would take care of her. And you know, I, I have to hold true to that promise. It made it a lot easier for us to continue working and to uh, and to know that he was in a safe environment. Well, I went to the doctor and I started having some memory problems and the doctor rec recommended it. When I came here, so as like, soon as I came in through them doors right there, I felt the love. It just brings so much joy to me just to make sure that I know I can just try to make the best day for them. She'll come home singing in the car, uh, which she would, would, wasn't doing a lot of before. Just to see little bits of her back, you know, just as little as they are time to time. It makes me know I'm doing what I said I would do for her. So, um, and it is all because of the people here. They dote on him with coffee and snacks and all that kind of stuff, and that's all the things that he really loves. I love coming here. Well, I get to meet my friends out right here and everybody in friendly. We work with each participant to create socialization and engagement opportunities. They're designed to decrease anxiety, promote increased activity and interaction. I feel like that the participants come in here where they can socialize with other of their peers. Just them coming, knowing they have friends here. Uh, it's like a family. When we get to talk, when we get to talk, we talk about everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> people that work here are so nice and so, you know, they just get along with it and they're so patient. That's what I like. Our nurses, healthcare associates, and program staff use music, games, and other organized activities to make sure the participants' days are full of fun, movement, and enriching opportunities. And even the people down here are nice too, and friendly. That's what I like, them. friendly. And we all get along. Well, they have a lot of kind of activity. We do exercise, they have a lot of people coming in, different people coming in doing things, singing, and People who know with bells and stuff that we participate in with them. And that's why another reason why I like that. They already got, got something down there. They got these, I love when they, they bring these little kids down. They, they, they do a good job helping us perform with them little kids. They pass out stuff that we be the music playing, we had to shake and do everything. Them little kids like that. In addition to great activities, we have meals, we have breakfast, snacks, and lunch. The Williams Adult Day Center offers salon services, spa baths, also dental and podiatry services are available. He feels safe here. Um, he's enjoyed it because I take care of him. But I think that the staff does a wonderful job uh, just showing the love. We make everybody feel welcome. We are like a family here. And I know that, I feel like that the participants and their families can feel that from us. We're here to support the entire family. Navigating an Alzheimer's or dementia diagnosis can be difficult. We know that caregivers cannot take care of their loved one if they're not taking care of themselves. They've been amazing. Um, I don't know how they do it day in and day out, because, you know, the break that I get from knowing she's taking care of while I'm at work refreshes me to be able to take care of her at night. And so I don't know how they do it eight hours a day, but uh, it's it's just been a blessing. It's a godsend, this, this center here. It's amazing. That's the biggest thing, is, is making sure that he's taken care of, that the people that that are here know what they're looking for. They're aware of everything that's involved with dementia and, and, uh, and Alzheimer's and, and the cases that, the situations that can arise and they're well prepared for it. It's like a little family, it's your extended family. And I mean, you, when you don't see them for a couple days, you're like, how's it going? I miss seeing you, everything okay? We just love, like I said, the way they treat him. You know, every, Every day when he comes in, they're smiling and happy and talk to him about what he's wearing. It just makes it worthwhile. I 
highly recommend it. Love this place. It's different every day. Uh, I have learned so much from the participants, just them sharing their life stories and all. Uh, but it's just a wonderful place to come. I would tell the community that they, if they came here one time, they would see the open arms that we have. The staff is friendly. We make you feel at home. We have caring people here. And just bring your family here and you will see for yourself just what they are what we're offering here at the Williams Adult Day Center. We look forward to the opportunity to reopen the center. We miss the participants and they miss us. Our team's goal is to provide the best care possible for every person to feel love, respect, dignity, and purpose when they're with us. It can be hard to find resources out in the community to, to help in certain areas of your life and I think the Williams Center and Senior Services as a whole really does a good job of, of aiming the need towards older adults. In the It has just been my heart's desire as far as to continue to, to serve, to be a servant to, my, to the elderly. As hard as COVID has been, you know, it just, you know, it just makes it more real that we can't see the people that we love and care for. I truly, I truly, truly miss them and can't wait to see them again. Yeah, I've missed their enthusiasm, their caring, and the love, the love that they show us, the love that they show each other. And I know that they're missing it too. We care about our participants. We miss our participants. And with this pandemic, we all are a little stressed out, but we try to let them know that we still care. I've missed the, all the commotion and the chaos of what the day brings here. You never know what a day will bring, but it's always exciting and you always know that you go home helping somebody. And that's really what I miss about the, the normal day here at the Williams Center. But we still have a lot of commotion going on, a lot to do, and you still know and go home at the end of the day knowing that you're keeping in contact with the participants and you're keeping a relationship with them. It helps knowing that we're still you know, doing whatever it is that we can. Since the center has closed, you still get to call them each day and be like, hey, how are you? I'm checking in and it's just good to hear your voice. Also, we're taking frozen meals to our participants who uh, request them. And it's good to see them and to kind of get an idea of what their life has still been like during the uh, pandemic. Uh, the video was very entertaining. A group of us got together and uh, as far as for lunchtime, every day at lunchtime, we always have a walk time. As when they exercise and we sing songs and back in the day songs that they know about. And uh, so we just started, uh, got together and formed a group. We rehearsed and did it just like we were you know, just professionals, which we were not. Today we're having a giveaway where we are, we have uh, supplies and food items, personal items, uh, personal care items that we receive from our Christmas in July. And we're giving them away to our participants and their caregivers who may have not been able to go out during this pandemic and do their normal grocery shopping or carry a normal routine. And I think that's really gonna help them today. Um, and also just to see them and us to give that interaction, which we haven't had for months now, is really good in itself. It, it got a little emotional seeing, you know, some of the participants who you really grew a close relationship with. I knew that we missed them, but you don't really know what that's like until they get here. It was so awesome seeing them and knowing that it was their birthday and singing and, it just reminds us of how much we're missing out. So um, seeing them today has been very special and it warms your heart like you wouldn't expect it to, but it does and you just really miss them. 
Yeah, when we saw like the enthusiasm on Ruby T's face when she came in, knowing that she knew who we were and missed us and wants to be back here, that really feels good. And it shows that we make a difference. The Williams Center is such a special place. It's filled with engaging activities, love and care, even during COVID-19. The staff has found special ways to keep that spirit and support alive with the help of 30 team members and hundreds of volunteers who collectively give more than 3,000 hours of service each year. The Williams Center was able to touch more than 220 families in our community in the last year alone. Your support helps make this possible. A few of those people who have been touched by your generosity and the services provided at the Elizabeth and Tab Williams Adult Day Care Center are joining us this evening. First, we will hear from families who have loved ones enrolled at the center, followed by a special spotlight on an intergenerational music program that brings joy to center participants. And lastly, from a treasured volunteer who is a huge part of the Williams Center family and mission. Dance, we sang and we just have a good time. So in 2018, my grandmother um, was hospitalized and she ended up in a short-term rehab facility. My dad actually passed away in July of 2018. And so I've been taking care of Barbara ever since and she has dementia. I work still and my mom's 92 years old. We had a friend through church that had recommended my mom's sister many years ago. And um, her doctor actually recommended maybe to come here. And my family and I were looking at alternatives to her being at home alone, um, trying to find something for her to do throughout the day that may decrease her returning to the hospital. How do you like participating here at the Wednesday. I love it. I really do. I really love coming here. Since my grandmother has been going to the day center, she loves it. Um, she loves the staff. She's met a best friend over there. Yeah, I've made a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. What about the people who work here? What do you think of them? I love every one of them. I really do. It's fun to come here. It's, it's story, the people get here, it's just friendly. Come here and re rejoice in being with friends. The Williams Adult Day Center has been a godsend for my mom. She comes home and tells me about the stories, the singing with Kevin at the piano. Um, she loved the dogs and um, walking around to the music. So she is enjoying it and she hasn't been in the hospital for um, since that last hospitalization before she started going. So she has been hospital free. I'm happy they have been funding or scholarships for people who can't afford it. Um, when our friend had recommended me to come talk to Williams Day Center about that, there was a scholarship available, and I was like, this would be phenomenal. And I talked to the staff here, and we went through the process, and it has been just incredible to know that I can rest easy and have a place for mom. I just appreciate it so, so much. The William Adult Day Center to me means a sense of peace. So as a family member, um, it makes us feel good and less troubled to know that our loved one is somewhere during the day that they can have fun, socialize, and then they have caring staff to look after them. And it also provides a little respite and relief to the family. So with the research study that we completed recently with the Wake Forest School of Medicine has been fantastic. I mean, we knew we could see the anecdotal evidence and um, it, it was great to actually engage in a more scientific approach to measuring the impact of kinder music. And so one of the things that they came back with is that on kinder music day, there is an obvious 
an immediate impact for those participants who are coming into the class and engaging. So we could see an immediate bump in their mood, not only immediately there observed by staff, but through ways that we captured data from their caregivers in the afternoon, in the evening after they went home, a continued elevation of mood and happiness. I go home with goosebumps, but so do they. So when there's a study done that shows that there's this improved um, endorphin level and they're just, it's like they took a, a dose of happy medicine, I get it because that's what we feel in that room when we're all together putting these ingredients together. I look forward to uh, seeing the children. I love them. Uh, some of them scared. You just hold their hand, get them to come to you, and they'll be used to you. Some of them sit on your lap. The kids, uh, they are wonderful. They're, they always uh, love me, and uh, they always appreciate it. And uh, I just love the kids all the time. Volunteering at the Williams Adult Day Center was the most soul-satisfying, soul-sustaining experience in my entire life. Because while they were so appreciative of my coming twice a month to lead these sing-alongs, playing the piano and singing with them, it really, they each touched my heart and gave me so much. Doing music with seniors who are challenged with dementia is an incredible experience. You are there in real time watching how music can touch people's lives instantly. You can see people who were confused or didn't talk all of a sudden smile and start singing because these songs are touching memories for them. One day a woman who couldn't talk who had very little expression on her face, I would see her over and over again, standing in the middle of that living room at the, at the Williams Center. She looked at us, she started to walk toward us, and she started to sing from memory over the rainbow. It was astonishing. I can still feel a little chill run up my spine right now thinking of that moment when she was singing beautifully the entire song and everyone looked at her. And when the song ended so beautifully, she couldn't stop saying, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe I remember that song. I can't believe that song. I love that song. I would recommend everyone of all ages to volunteer at the Williams Adult Day Center. They delight in anyone who comes and again the staff treat you like extended family. I miss them very much. I can't wait for it to reopen because this is not about charity work. Yes, you're contributing to these people's lives immensely, but they will give back twofold, threefold the time and effort and talents you bring. And as my mother would say, love full circle. The Williams Center is a place where structured activities and programs led by loving and caring staff and volunteers provide daily stimulation and meaningful connection for older adults that are living with memory loss. The magic of the Williams Center shines through in these video segments and your support plays a huge part in ensuring that scholarships are available to help families in need and that no one is turned away for an inability to pay. So please continue to bid and give throughout the evening to help support this important work. I hope you've been as touched as I have by all the special messages and moments that we've been able to share with you tonight. Your support of the evening for Alzheimer's care and of senior services ensures that every family navigating a memory loss diagnosis in our community has access to the care and support they need from Senior Services award-winning Elizabeth and Tab Williams Adult Day Care Center. As our time together draws to a close, I'm delighted to pass the baton to Senior Services President and CEO, Lee Covington, for a few parting words. Good evening, friends, and thank you for joining us for this, our 20th annual Evening for Alzheimer's Care. You know, I bet 
when Mary and Sue and Susan were coming together to create our very first event, they didn't imagine that this event would still be going strong 20 years later. And I'm sure that they didn't imagine that our 20th anniversary event would be happening in the middle of a pandemic and have to go totally online like we have this evening. As Shanna and Adam mentioned earlier, tonight is indeed different than the first 19 years. We hope you've enjoyed this evening and hopefully you've learned a few things that you didn't know, and I'm sure that you've been inspired. These video vignettes that we've seen have given all of us a glimpse into the magic that we know as the Elizabeth and Tab Williams Adult Day Center. You've heard from program participants and families who benefit greatly from that magic every single day. And you've heard from volunteers and from our incredible staff who bring that magic to life at our Williams Adult Day Center on a daily basis. None of this magic could be possible without you. The fact that you're watching this evening tells us that you are a supporter of senior services and of our award-winning Williams Adult Day Center. Through the years, our faithful donors and patrons and sponsors have made this event what it is today. And as you heard earlier, as of this year's event and tonight, we have raised more than $3 million to support scholarships for aging adults living with memory loss to attend our center. What incredible support from an amazing community. So thank you so much for being here this evening and for your many, many years of support and what you're going to do to continue to support this event and our organization in the future. As this evening draws to a close, you're going to see some scrolling credits, which will highlight our sponsors for this year, as well as our patron donors. So stick around because you're going to want to see those names and you're also going to want to hear the incredible music that was composed by Lindsay Jones, who is a Winston-Salem native and a graduate of UNC School of the Arts. Before we close, I want to give our sincere thanks again to Lainey Pope, to Michelle Butt, and to all of our friends at WXII 12 for making this evening's production so professional. So thank you all and good night.
Thank you.